Hello everyone. Well, today is the day when I'm hopefully going to get this tunnel stripped down and the whole frame moved out there onto the what were the companion beds this year. Uh, so I've got a bit of woodwork to shift around and I've got these, uh, my temporary benches. These have been phenomenal for me and that's how I normally use them and store them out the way. They've been really good and I'm going to use these again in the new tunnel or an iteration of them. Uh, they might be made slightly differently. I've got a few ideas, a few more ideas of how to fit this out in here. But for now, these want to come out because they're still in good nick and I'll go and put them, stack them away somewhere. And then the rest of the timber in here, as much as possible, wants to come out. Doors want to come off, door frames off, cover off and then untie or untangle or unscrew the frame, can't remember how I put it in, from the base and move it off so that then this is ready then to accept the new poly, poly tunnel. So we'll see how we get on. <laughs> sun's out now so it's much more pleasant to work <laughs> grand right doors off next and uh, these doors the timbers on them are still good so I can re reuse and recycle those. Even the hinges are still good on them. There we go, get the one at the other end next. So that trim I was taking off from the outside here was just covering and further encasing where the cover, the original door was here, you can see where the zips were. And I just stapled it to the door frame, put the door in and mounted it from behind, put the hinges on behind, and then I just cut around it. So that's where it was stapled on and held on by, held on by that timber. So this cover just once pull it off
Right, hopefully I can just pull this from the other end now. Hopefully. So I've now dragged the frame down and over what were the companion planting beds this year that went a little bit wrong. So you can see now that this sort of fits on the edges and it's going to be perfect for a brassica frame. And just down at this end, you can just see where the frame overlaps. So I've got about five foot to cut off there and then reattach that last hoop. And then this is a, a movable brassica frame that can go almost anywhere in the plot. So everything is now mostly cleared away and what we're left with now is just the footprints. I'm not going to reuse these beds, I'm just keeping it like this for the moment just to keep soil contained, stop it getting too messy. I'll take these out as the new frame goes up. As I need to put a new foundation tube in, I will take out that little area. Uh, if, I, I just find it easier doing it that way than making one big almighty mess. That's the way I've done it in the past. So that's the footprint. Tunnel's gone now. So yeah, we're well on the way. It's probably gonna be a few days before I can do any more work here because I've got some decorating to do at home. I did mention that on an earlier video um, and I'm stripping a, a complete room out from the carpet up basically. Um, so I'm putting lino down in there and building new cupboards and benches and wallpaper and painting, you know, all the usual stuff. But it's fiddly, it's fiddly, it's, it's, it's a small room. Should be done quick, but I know it won't be. But anyway, we'll get back onto, um, onto, onto this as soon as we possibly can. So don't forget to subscribe, the big red button just down there so that you don't miss the tunnel going up. And then the alterations after that, that I make to it to make it work the way I want to make it work. Um, well, there we go, there's the footprints, frame moved, new brassica frame, absolute bonus and I'm really pleased. But that's it for this video. Please look after yourselves everyone, please stay safe. I'll see you all very, very soon. Tarana.